Hi Diego, howdy Matteo, how are you guys doing? Missing you all. Welcome YouTube to our show today. We are cooking up grilling spam indoors. We're going to use little garlic granules. You can add Parmesan cheese or whatever you want to this, but the idea is to lightly coat it, give it that extra flavor that makes spam a desirable product everybody can enjoy. Because I love my wife. All right, for the month of October, we are going to be cooking up Spam. In this episode, we will be cooking up Spam indoors uh, with a non-stick frying pan. I'm calling this Grilling Spam. I'm using 25% less sodium. It has the best flavored Spam that we have found, other than the actual ones that have flavoring in them. So, we like it kind of on the thin side, like to fry it up kind of crisp, like bacon. And I found if you're going to have to fry it in a pan to use butter and to coat or bread your spam with garlic granules and um, if you like Parmesan cheese out of that gourmet green can works wonders on improving the flavor and texture of the spam. This will work for putting it into stir fries, having it with rice having it on, as a sandwich with some lettuce, tomato, onion, whatever you like on a sandwich. So the first step is to just kind of cut them kind of thin, not real thin. You can cut them about half this thickness if you want it to be more like bacon. So that's what we got going here. Let's see if we can move this over here so it gets a little better of a shot. Put a piece there. How's that look? A little better. Get the gelatin out of the center. Ta-da! There you have it, folks. Spam, 25% less sodium, on the, grilled on the stove. Alright, we've, cut, we've covered the top side with gra garlic granules. And we're just going to leave that on the top and fry these up. I've turned the heat down to low-medium. Probably shouldn't have put that thin one in the center because it'll cook quicker there, but that's okay. We're not walking away from this one. Okay, we're just going to let that go for about three minutes and then we're going to flip it. That simple. We've got butter, and we've got spam, low sodium spam, and we've got garlic granules, and that's all we're cooking here. Mmm. -mm. All right, after they've cooked for about a minute, you just pick them up and shake them around, make sure they're not sticking on the bottom. Um, because I'm using a, an electric stove here, and the heat's down a little bit. Um, I rotated the pan so the cold spots on the stove won't be in the same spot. And if you didn't know that trick, that's a good trick to use. Rotating your pan. Alright, people will be like, Jimbo, you must love Spam. You cook it so many different ways. It's like, no, actually I don't love Spam. My wife loves Spam. I love my wife. And I do the cooking. So I have purposely tried to find ways to make Spam something that I do more than just choke down. And I've done that. I really like garlic. Okay, there's our timer. We're at about five minutes. So this works. The trick is not to burn your garlic while you cook your Spam because you get too much burnt garlic and it's bitter. So we just put it on one side. Now if you wanted to flavor the other side with garlic, now would be a good time to do it. Or Parmesan cheese. But I'm just going to go with this because I have a, I'm going to build a sandwich out of this with some buttermilk bread. So a little piece of French Swiss cheese, tomato and onion with mayonnaise. And that's what we're going for. This is almost done. We're almost ready for the next batch. Give it two minutes. About two seconds. Alright, we got this one little piece that doesn't have cheese. We're going to flip over to see what it looks like. And it's looking pretty good and done on that side. As you know, Spam is fully cooked, so we're just going to take these and set them off on a plate. For my sandwich. Uh, let's get this off the heat so we don't burn anything. 
All right, we have buttermilk bread, which my wife likes. And I like to just thinly coat the pores in the bread with mayonnaise most of the time. If I'm having salmon, I'll put it on thick, kind of like that. But my wife likes it like that all the time. I just like to get it some mayonnaise down there. It helps with everything going on, but doesn't become an overpowering flavor and it doesn't add a lot of calories if you spread it. Okay. The mayonnaise down, that's the first step of building any good sandwich. We got our condiments to go on it and I've got some thinly slices of, thin slices of onion. Bidi bidi bidi, that's all on the onion folk. Alright, and then we've got a nice juicy tomato and I think I'm going to cut that one in half. We'll set that there. Set this here. Hey, it worked perfectly. What do you know? All right, we got our veggies down, so we got a healthy sandwich going on, and some people would just eat that. I know in my younger days, I loved onion sandwiches. Now we've got our Spam with our French Swiss cheese. I don't know what that means, but that's what the package says. All right, now we need to focus this for the tasting triumph. Yay! All right, now I'm gonna bite into this sandwich, and I'm gonna tell you as a as a competition chef what I expect. I expect to hear some crunch from that and feel the crunch of the onion. Probably not a lot of flavor because there's so much other things going on, and the onion's really thin. But it's gonna give me that texture. The tomato is gonna give me some juicy flavor. It's gonna ooze out, and then there's gonna be that bite of meat in the spam because the spam's on top. My tongue's going to hit these other flavors first, and the Spam should come out last. This is going to make it an even more enjoyable sandwich. It's all in how you layer the food. So let's see how this tastes. Crunch! Spam! might need another slice of tomato. I didn't taste that at all, really. Well, that's how you can take an ordinary piece of Spam and turn it into a gourmet sandwich. Something everybody can enjoy. If you don't like Spam, you should try this. This is really, a, a, really kicks it out of the park. If you like hot sauce or something like that, put some hot sauce on it, too. Thank you all for watching. We won't be using these. And there we have it. I forgot to take photos, so we'll take it all back off and do the photo session, hopefully. Dang, nabbit.